The Dante Show. There was an inmate that everybody feared. Even I feared this dude. This dude would put the fear of God in everybody, even with the COs. This dude, he was every bit of 390, maybe even 400 pounds, all solid muscle. Had to be about 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, massive dude. Big dude. You remember John Coffey? A dude like that was bigger. And if y'all don't know who John Coffey is, this is what he looked like. I'm not going to put his name out there. Because he probably got a wife and kids, family out there. And to be honest, I don't want him to see this video and he feel offended that he come look for me. Because this dude was no joke at all. I'm going to be the first to tell you. The inmates feared this dude. The guards feared them. I've seen situations where... Well, we, we'll get into that later. But this, was, this is what was going on with him. He wasn't a real aggressive dude unless you disrespected him. He wasn't going around looking for trouble or nothing like that. He primarily kept to himself. He talked to a couple of people, but primarily he kind of kept to himself. But he demanded respect. Anybody in their right mind would not walk up to this dude and say something crazy to him. Even the gang members feared this dude. It could have been on a scene where this dude, he, he walked in the middle of the pod. It's about 60 guys up in here. And he said, I'm, I'm jumping all over the place. Let me introduce y'all. We're going to call him K. Anybody that been locked up in Texas prisons, right? I'm going to say his name started with a K. And his last name started with a B. So we're going to call him KB. And if anybody been locked up in the Texas prisons between... 2012 and 15, y'all know exactly who I'm talking about. So we're going to call him KB. So KB come in the pod, right? When he came in, it's like everybody got quiet. Everybody got quiet. This dude was a force to be reckoned with. When he walked in, everybody just looking at him. Conversations kind of turned down a little bit. And we watched him go up into his room. His cellmate wasn't in there at the time. His cellmate was in the shower. An older white man. KB was a black man. Keep that in mind. And this, his cellmate had to have been every bit of 52 years old. With a bad back. So he needed the bottom bunk. It wouldn't have been... Maybe 30 seconds that KB was in that cell and he came back out and stood in front of the pot and was like, hey, who in cell 36? Loud, like thunder. Ain't nobody said nothing. He said, hey, who in cell 36? Ain't nobody say nothing. He said, I'm going to say it one more time. Who in cell 36? Crickets. Right? So he said, all right. He go back into the cell. I look at my partners. I said, he going to be a problem. This dude going to be a problem. So um, the old man come out the shower. And he goes up, start walking towards the cell. Somebody pulled him to the side and was like, hey, um, you got a new celly up in there. And he, he looked like he owned one. The old white man like, all right, let me go up here and see what's going on. So we quieted him up. We all inching up the stairs. We listening. White, older white guy going to cell. 
KB like, why you ain't answer me when I said who up in the cell? He was like, I was in the shower. He was like, well, check this out. I'm getting this bottom bump. You got to get this top bump. Old man was like, I got a bad back. Man, I have to get this bottom bump. I have to get it. He was like, what? White man shook. You guys, y'all got to understand the height, weight. This guy was a monster, okay? And this white guy was a puny guy. Anybody standing next to this guy was a puny guy, okay? Now we just going to, I'm not saying that because he was white and old, but this, me standing next to him, y'all see how big I am. I look like a dang ant compared to this dude. And me standing next to him, y'all see how big I am. I look like a dang ant compared to this dude. So he like, I can't get up there. So KB grabbed his stuff like in one twist, grabbed all my man's stuff off his bed and threw it out there over the tear, over the rail, and it went everywhere. And people started grabbing stuff. And he said, well, you ain't sleeping in here then. Either you going to sleep on the floor or you getting up on the top bunk. What you going to do? Dude got up off that cell. He ran up off the cell as fast as he could. And he moved. He scared him. He went to the front desk. Hey, I fear for my life. I, could, could you guys move me, please? Can you please move me? I got a bad back. And, and the new guy that's in there, he won't. He, he's threatening me, telling me I have to sleep at the top bunk. The CEO say, well, give us a couple of days and we'll see what we can do. The dude was like, I won't survive in there a couple of days. This, this guy is, he's a, I, I won't survive in there. Y'all got to get me out of there. So the guard, now keep in mind, it's two guards on the ship. When KB came in, there was only one guard there. So the other guard didn't see him. But I'm pretty sure the other guard that let KB in, he must have briefed him, but he didn't see KB yet. So he like the uh the guard that he was talking to was like, whoever's in the cell 30 says, come out right now. Come out. He yelling it up, yelling it out on the tier. Come out. I need to talk to you. KB ain't come out. He say, yo, if you don't come out here right now, you're getting on lockdown. No word from KB at all. No word at all. So the deputy like, all right. So he go up there, walking up the tier, get to the cell, look in there, see this big, black, massive dude standing there, towering over him. What you think that guard said to him? Nothing. Turned away, walked off. He ain't want no problems with KB. No problems. No problems at all. Turned around, walked down the stairs. He said, hey, I don't know what to tell you. You just got to deal with it until we can find yourself. I don't know what to tell you. Days will go on. And that poor old white man, he was sleeping on the floor. <laughs> hey. This ain't no, I'm not laughing that he was sleeping on the floor, but he was sleeping on the floor. You just got to deal with it until we can find you a cell. I don't know what to tell you. Days will go on. And that poor old white man, he was sleeping on the floor. <laughs> hey, this ain't no, I'm not laughing that he was sleeping on the floor, but he was sleeping on the floor. I, I just thank God I wasn't in that predicament or anybody that I knew. For three days, that man slept on the floor. For three days, KB would step over him. Step on him sometimes when he get out the bed. And you would hear the man, ah! And KB was like, shut up. Stop whining. Peeing all in the toilet and splashing on my man's head and torture. They finally got that old man out of there, right? When they got him out of there, they tried to put somebody else in there. I think the dude's name was Lil Tim. This, um, I think he was a, a crip. 
He claimed to be a cripple, whatever the case may be. But they put this crip dude in there named Lil Tim. He had to be about 19 years old. They put him in there. I'm going to tell y'all what I heard. I didn't see it with my own eyes, but I heard it. When Lil Tim, the crip dude, got in there, I don't know exactly what he said to KB, but all I know is I don't have cellmates. Bam! Now, you know, like when a cartoon happened and somebody hit somebody and be like, bam! You heard, bam! You heard something. It was so loud. So loud. Bam! Like him hitting a brick wall or something. Lil Tim came up out of it. He flew out of the out of the cell so fast and was and was about to like go over the rail. Luckily I was standing right there, like coming this way. And I grabbed him just in time before he went over the rail. And um KB, I look at KB and he's standing there gorilla style, just looking at me like fuming. So I grab my man because he was in and out of conscious. I grab him and I, I'm like, like, come on. KB come out the cell on top of the tier with his hands on the bar. It's like, yo, don't put nobody else in my mother in cell. The guard really style just looking at me like <sighs> fuming. So I grab my man because he was in and out of conscious. I grab him and I, I'm like, like, come on. KB come out the cell on top of the tier with his hands on the bar. It's like, yo, don't put nobody else in my mother cell. <sighs> the guards looking up there. They ain't said nothing. Ain't nobody really giving him eye contact. I'm grabbing the dude, you know, bringing him over here to the right to get out of KB way. I'm thinking like, please don't let this man rush me. Please don't let this man rush me. I can't do nothing with this man. Even if I had a shank, two shanks glued to me like Ruverine, I probably still couldn't do nothing to this man. Y'all ain't got, y'all ain't understanding. Don't, and don't sit up here and try to tell me what y'all will do and what y'all won't do because y'all was not in that situation. If you went, if you. So let me get back to the story. So basically, he I, I get him right there, lay him out on the tier. And two of his homeboys, they wasn't Crips. They were just two of his homeboys um, that he talked to every day, hurried up, got up there and grabbed him. And um, KB went back in the cell. Um, the guards, they get on the radio. Yo, we, whatever they said, cold, whatever, blah, blah, blah. We got an issue here. The goon squad come. The goon squad, if y'all don't know, they come in there with riot shields. They come in there with, um, black gloves, knee pads, billy clubs, whatever you want to call it. They come. It's about 12 of them. They will. They are finna do what you call an extraction, right? They finna get him up out of here. At least that's what they thought. They tell all of us, lock down, lock down. Get back to y'all selves. Everybody go back to y'all selves right now. Lock down. Oh, if you don't go lock down, when the goon squad get there, you getting beat. You finna get beefed over the head. Hey. You better go lock down if you know what's good for you, right? If you've been locked up before, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. So we ain't going to play like we don't know how how, how the Goon Squad get down when they come in there and they get down. We know how they get down. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button and hit that follow button and share this video. Heart the video too. Now, so we all locked down. And we like, oh, yeah. It's about to go, about to go down. Let's see what KB do. Now, nobody can see it, like I said, because we all in our cells, but we can hear it. And some people got like their mirror out doing like this, and they can see a little bit, but 
all you really seeing is all black and um you know riot shields and stuff. So they get to a cell and they like cuff up, turn around and cuff up. He like come in here and get me out. Come make me cuff up. Turn around, cuff up. Last warning. Last warning. We don't hear nothing. They pop his cell. First guard to come in. They go in. See, they go in like this. One be standing behind the other like this. One be behind and the other one behind. The other one be behind it. And the first one go in. Are you here? Boom. 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 KB in there knocking heads off. Cracking riot seals. I'm talking about he is he is um Thanos beating the Avengers. Beating them. Boom. 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 I don't hear it. I mean, I don't see it, but I hear it. He in there going in. Now, y'all know that pepper spray that they, that bear spray, they spraying that on them. It's getting crazy. They tasing him. All that. I'm going to say out of the 12 goon squads that came in that cell, five of them was knocked out cold. It got to the point where they had to come in there with that shotgun, the rubber bullets. If you know, you know. Hit that like button. Hit that follow button. They come in there with that thing. Boo, boo, boo. Oh, oh. Bow. One of them shot him in the head. Boom. Knocked him out. Now, this is, this is a sidebar. I don't care how tough you are. I don't care if you got hands of steel. You get shot with one of the rubber bullets, you going down. He got shot three or four times here, 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 like right there. But when he got shot in his head, knocked him out cold. Bam. Freight train. Boom. He out cold. They had the call. It was so many deputies up in there. The war didn't even have to come up in there. They got this man out of there. They carried him out. First, they was dragging him, hitting his head every bump. Boom, 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 going down the stairs. Y'all hit that like button, hit that follow button. He hit his head on every um, stair going down there. And then they finally picked him up and they got him up, got him up out of there. A month later, I see KB again. We on the yard, right? I see KP. Now, if you, okay, Mo, remember I said that most of the guards, well, I'm going to say all of the guards feared this dude. He could get away with day near anything because some of the officers just didn't want to deal with it. Case in point, you can't walk around with your shirt off. If I walk around with my shirt off, yo, Bell, put your shirt on, you're going to get a ticket. I, or, or if, yo, Bell, put your shirt on. I ain't putting on nothing. All right, cuff up. Or, Bell, put your shirt on. I ain't putting on nothing. They'll come over there and whip me out. Right? Throw me in a hole. KB, on the other hand, he come out there with his shirt off. They act like they don't see it. They don't see this large, massive man walking around on the yard with his shirt off or in the pod with his shirt off. They don't want that problem. They don't want to deal with it. Peep the scene. You got a CEO that's about 5'7", five, 5'8", seven, five, even 6 foot, 180 pounds, 200 pounds. Never worked out a day of his life. You got this big, massive man walking around with his shirt off and you come up to him and tell him, yo, you got to go put your shirt on. And he's standing over you like this, looking at you. And he say, make me punk. What you going to do if you're a CEO? You got two things you're going to do that you can do. You either going to get on that radio. Yo, I need backup. Or you just going to walk off. A CEO job. Is to come to work and get back home alive. Okay? A CO job, when you 
a CEO, your whole mission is to get back home. They sit up there and say the inmates run the jail. That's not true. The inmates only run the jail when the prison guards is not watching. I'm going to keep it a buck. I'm going to keep it, keep it 100. I'm going to keep it 100. Y'all hit that like button. Hit that follow button. Share this video if you're feeling this content. Make sure you bless my cash app if you like this content. Back to it. So, like I said, inmates do not run the prisons. The COs do. But like I said, when you get dudes in there like KB, they run in the prison. They run in that jail. Because you don't want to, the COs don't want to deal with that. They don't want to be the one that have to go in there and be like, yo, cuff up. Or take him somewhere or try to dis. They don't want to deal with that. You go up, you, you don't know what this man liable of doing. This man look, literally dang near took out the whole goon squad. If they didn't shoot him in the head with that rubber bullet, he, hey, he was in there. Y'all seen the Avengers. Dun, dun, dun. Boom, boom. You seen what he did to the crap? I, I got to stop right there. I can't go no further. I'm, and y'all don't know why later on in the story. So you got one of the rules is that you cannot be on the yard with commissary, right? KB, this how gorilla fi he was. He, you would catch him, boy, <laughs> you would catch him, let's say this A building over here, B building right here, and C building right here. He was in A building. I was in B building. At first, he was in B building with us. Then whatever happened, he ended up going to A building. You would see KB, big, massive tail, with his shirt off, walk from A building across the yard to C building with an empty laundry bag. Come from C building, walk in the yard with a big bag of commissary. Went over there, just taking stuff from people. And no consequence. You would see his big tail walking with a Massive bag of commissary that he does not store there, or stole from somebody from over there. That's walking. No guard, nobody said nothing to him, and he go back to where to put it up in his cell or whatever to come back on the yard. You would see this dude do this maybe once. No, I'm lying. Maybe twice a week. We get this new guard. He an ex-NFL player. Big white boy. Big. Had to be on the line. A lineman. Dude was like 6'4", maybe 300 pounds. Big jacked up white boy too. And he came from the mountains. If anybody been locked up in the Texas jail systems, y'all might know who I'm talking about. I'm not going to say his name. But y'all know what CO that I'm talking about. He was a cool straight I'm not gonna say his name. But y'all know what CO that I'm talking about. He was a cool straight dude too. So okay, so this what happened. New correctional guard come. We just gonna call him um the big white. So the big white. And if y'all just tuning in, the big white is the new CO that that, that just came in. Dude is as big as um, KB. Yo, inmate, what are you doing coming from that, um, from the C building? KB just walking with a bag of commissary. Number one, he got his shirt off, violation. Number two, what is you doing coming from C building? Number three, what are you doing with the cop with commissary? Number four, you don't hear me talking to you? KB just walking along, walking along with his bag of commissary. So the CEO, the big white CEO, come over there and like, yo, you don't hear me talking to you? And grab him on his shoulder. KB turned around and was like, 
touch me again, I'ma beat your. Huh. Big white CEO said, huh. Turn around and cuff up inmate. KB turned his back on him and start. Cuff up inmate. CEO grab him again. But this time, he like, um, KB like rolled in his shoulder. And the um, CEO grabbed the commissary and snatched the back. <laughs> He snatched the he snatched the laundry bag with the commissary in it, and um, it just basically went into a tug of war. And then uh, you uh, paint the scene: two massive dudes playing tug of war over a laundry bag full of sodas, cookies, pops, soups like ramen noodles. They 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 playing tug of war over this bag, right? Next thing you know, it it explodes everywhere. Boom! It explodes everywhere. Now, they fighting. They boom, boom, tussling, rolling around. They roll around. May, they, roll, they roll maybe about, about seven feet that way. So, everybody picking up the commissary. Picking it up while they fighting. Picking up the commissary. I think I grabbed like two sneakers and the commissary. I think I grabbed like two sneakers and a grape soda or something like that. So they fighting. Boom, 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 boom. Now, KB getting the best of them. KB at this time now got on top of them. Boom, boom, boom. Y'all remember that part um, on Avengers with um where Hawk was fighting Thanos and they both was like going at it. Bang, 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 like that. And then Thanos start winning. When Thanos start, boom, putting them on them. Got on top of the great white CEO and got the boom, boom, gorilla style on him, right? Then the other um, guards running in, trying to tackle him off. They hitting him with the batons. They tasing him, all that. The great white was knocked out, knocked out cold, knocked out cold. They end up whipping, <laughs> they end up whipping KP out. They whip him out. He was already tired, though. So they whooped his... Uh, hit that like button and hit that follow button. Hit that like button. Hit that follow button. Hit. Put something in the Cash App, too, man. If y'all enjoying this content, put something in the Cash App, please. So they whipped him out. Um, He tired. He, he barely can fight back. You know when you tired and you, you barely can even throw a punch. So they done whipped him out. Put them in a hole. We didn't see the great white CEO for about a month. And then we seen him. He didn't. Usually when guards get beat up like that, they don't come back. It ain't for them. The great white. It's a different case. He came back. Oh, yeah, he came back. And he came back with a vengeance. He would go on to be a butthole. He he would go on to writing people up for nothing. Just just doing the most. Two weeks pass after so this has to be a month and two weeks. Who do we see back on the yard? Dun, 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 dun. KB, there you go, there you go, right there. KB got another laundry bag on his right hand and one on his left. The great white CEO, he sees him. And I'm thinking in his mind, the great white CEO, he sees him, and I'm thinking in his mind, this is round two, baby. I'm finna get my get back. You ain't just gonna whip me out in front of everybody, and I'm just gonna turn to, no, no. Hey, mate, cuff up. Hey, mate, cuff up. 
KB turn around, look at him, and said, don't make me beat you like I did last time. Turn around, and the great white CEO, it was like, he jumped on him. He like leaped in the air, basically put his um, arm around his neck like a choke out, grabbed him, wrapped his legs around, fell back. There they go again. Commissary flying over here. Commissary flying over there. They wrestling. They punching each other. They hitting each other. It's it's a <laughs> y'all remember like when the cartoons they be fighting it all that dust cloud happened and dust be going everywhere and they be like boom 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 that scene that's what was going on. Sure enough, KB get the best of them again, messing them up down there. Boom boom boom. Deja vu. This happened before. CEOs come out there. The goon squad come out there. Now it's a full on. I'm I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it a hundred. It's a full on twenty versus one, and he ain't tired no more. He ain't got tired yet. KB ain't tired yet. KB is boom, boom, boom. Every time somebody run up, they get knocked down. Somebody run up, they get knocked down. This dude was like on. A billion mode, right? He grabbed the CO and was like, boom, headbutt him. Knocked him out cold. Here's the funny thing. It was a female CO that was out there. He grabbed her like this, cocked back, then he stopped when he realized it was a female CO. I can imagine how that woman was feeling. To see this big massive dude standing over her. He could have knocked her head off clean. But he did. He said, all right, I'm done. I'm done. They helped the great white up. Put him, cuffed him up. Hey, mate, do you hear me talking to you? I know you hear me talking to you. KB turned around like, whatever. And just kept walking. Just kept walking. He said, hey, mate, I said, turn around and cuff up. He just kept walking. The guard put his hand on like this. KB turned around like, boop, boop, boop. So then they end up falling on the floor. They get to the rolling around. KB, boom, 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 boom. But the great white, you know, he a big guy too. So, oh, oh, I'm sorry, y'all. So now KB end up, he on top of him. Boom, 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 boom. Mashing him out. The great white, which is the uh, CO, he blocking him though. So he ended up grabbing KB and flipping KB on his back and trying to get some elbows, trying to stiff him with them hits, right? Um, so they going at it. Um, all the inmates looking around. Now listen, I know there's one thing seeing me out there getting it in, right? There's one thing seeing me out there, boop, boop, you know, fighting a guy my size or a little bigger or a little smaller. But when, we, when you see two titans going at it, that's a whole nother fight, y'all. When I say two titans, you got KB. He about 6'8", 350 pounds, all muscle, black, bald head, right? You got the great white. That's the um, CEO that came from the mountains. This dude is about equally his size, about 6'6", 325, all muscle. They just, they just going at it. So one of them hits can end the whole fight. But they down there rolling, boop, 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 boop. Next thing you know, the rest of the guards come, right? They come running in. They on a KP, hit them. Boom, boom. I kept charging. It was like Thanos. You remember on the Avengers when Thanos was in there fighting? Boom, 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 boom. He gets up. The other guards hitting him. He grabbing them, throwing them, all that. It's, it's going down. What the young kids say nowadays, it's up. It's up. Y'all hit that like button. I ain't coming here to play. This is part two of KB. This is the one that y'all been waiting on, right? So KB out there fighting. He throwing guards. Guards getting thrown. The great white. Boom! Kind of, he, he, KB didn't knock him out, but he kind of dazed him, and he was kind of out of the fight. So now KB just stayed. He's steady. Whoop, whooping on everybody, right? 
Now, there was a female guard, a short female guard. KB caught back, right? And he was about to lay her out. He was about to cut her lights out. He was about to turn her TV off. But I guess he thought about it, and he stopped. Now, right there, he just stopped. I guess the uh, the humanity of KB showed, because he could have did that. He could have caved that woman face in. But he stopped, y'all. So, he ended up he ended up uh, giving up now. The great white ended up putting him in the handcuffs. They get him. They walking him off the yard, right? As they walking him off the yard. Thought I heard something, y'all. I'm in the garage. As they walking him out. Oh, that's a bird, man. I thought it was a mouse. Hit that like button. So as they walking him out, they get him to the corridor, right? Keep in mind, he in handcuffs. When they get him through there, they get to beating him up. Boom, boom. Got the baton hitting him, beating KB up in there. I'm all up on the door like, let me in. I'm trying to get in all the inmates up there banging on the door. We trying to get in to help KB out. Because, listen, they was dogging him out. That was beating him down. I'm, they beat this man to the ground. Stumping him. I'm coming on stumping him out, right? Beating him up. We all banging on the door. Y'all wrong. Let him go. Y'all wrong. Y'all dirty, man. Y'all y'all messed up for that, right? We all banging on the door. They whoop KB out. Hit that like button, right? So now they do what they do. The white shirts come in there. The medical staff they get KB out of there. They tell they the uh, the guards on the yard tell us to lock down. Everybody get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on your bellies. Put your hands behind your back. Well, put your hands behind your head, I mean. So we all laid out, stretched out like this with, a head, with our hands behind our head, like that. Then they tell us to get up. Then we go back to our pod. We instantly have to go to our rooms and lock down. I didn't see KB for three months. They end up shipping KB off. I was, in, I, I was on that transport bus with KB. I didn't even recognize that it was him. Right, I got into a little. I got into a little trouble, and they ended up transferring me. I got caught with one of them. You know what? I believe I got set up. I'm gonna tell y'all why. I wasn't a part of the Crip game, but they used to pay me to make they they bangers. So a war popped off on the yard. Yes, I can talk about it now. I can talk about it now. Because it's, it's way past the statute of limitations. I'm not giving real names. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have even never said them about the Crips. But anyway, hit that like button. So I'm making these weapons for these guys. A war popped off on the yard. Why did my name get brought up? They didn't find nothing in my cell. But the word of mouth. Um, Y'all want to hear that story? We'll, get, we'll do the story. So basically... I'm good with making things. When I, if I can get a piece of, I can get, I can get, I can get something like this and sharpen it into a fine point, right? I can get a toothbrush and sharpen it down to a fine point. If you give me, I can get a piece of paper and keep twisting it and twisting it and twisting it and twisting it. And wet it up and twist it some more. And make it to a sharp point. I can do all of that. So I was like a blacksmith, a swordsman up in there. So if you needed to get right, you knew to come to me. Everybody knew to come to me if you needed to get right. If you needed that banger to put somebody down, y'all knew who to come to, right? But when you got a reputation of making, of making weapons, you got somebody that's going to tell on you, right on you. So the Crips... End up going at it with the bloods, right? And, and truth be told, I was actually supplying both sides. Hey, when you locked up, you got to do what you got to do. I don't care where it's coming from. And I know some of y'all said, man, don't you feel guilty knowing that um, the weapons that you was making was going to use to hurt somebody? Okay. Listen, in the, yeah, in the real world, in the free world, yeah, there's bad morals. Yeah, but hey, listen. Do y'all say that to gun manufacturers, right? 
People that make knives out in the world, no, right? So it's the same thing while I'm locked up. It's for protection, right? So it is what it is. But I'll tell y'all one thing, since y'all judging me so much, y'all better hit that like button. And check this out. I'm not condoning violence at all. I'm not condoning violence. I'm just telling y'all these jail stories, okay? Oh, do me a favor, y'all. Bless the Cash App, too. The Cash App is right here. It's right here. If you if you feeling my content, bless the Cash App. It is highly appreciated. I want to shout out to Eva. I want to shout out to um, Quan. I want to shout out to Sean. I want to shout out to um, Lisa. Thank y'all for blessing the Cash App. I appreciate y'all. But let's get back to it. So, the Crips and Bloods, they into it. And um, long story short, I'm going to make a video about this. But I need to break, um, breeze through this part so we can get back to KP. Because this is what y'all want. So the Crips and Bloods, they beefed out. Um, I made about 10, 10 blades to supply the Crips. I made about 3 blades to supply the Bloods. They ended up popping it off on the yard. People got stabbed up. People got hurt. Whatever the case may be. The, the yard, the whole prison got locked down. Um, investigations started happening. People started going into the hospital. People was getting shipped off left to right. People was going to the hole. Um, five days after um, the big fight happened, I ended up getting called into the office. Yo, Dante, listen. We was told by this person, that person, um, that you would provide your weapons for the war. We don't want to hear it. We already got you packed up. You about to ride out. You went in the hole. Case closed, right? I sat in the hole for 40, about 45 days before they came and get me. So I'm on a bus looking stupid, right? Cuffed up. Got the uh, chains around my waist. Chains down here on my, on my ankles. And I'm walking off, right? With the next man. Here we go. We walking, right? Get on the bus. And who I see? KB. KB sitting there. He got facial hair now. Remember I told y'all that he his hair was all bald. He had like a smooth face. Now he got like a goatee like me. And he got a beard. And he got a bald head. Well, he got hair like scruffy hair. You know somebody that keeps a bald head. And they don't, um, they don't cut their hair. And it's all scruffy. That's how he looked it. So I see him. I'm like, oh, shoot. KB. So I'm sitting three spots behind him. So we ride in there. We get to the intake center. We get to the processor part. You know the whole spiel. If y'all don't know the whole spiel, this is the whole spiel. When you get off that bus, you line up, you go to this hall. You got the um, commander or one of the sergeants or the captain. They come to you, talk to you about um, what's the rules, what's the expectation. They make you go into this room and watch uh, like these prison videos like Priya, like preventing... Um, jail rape and stuff like that and um they just give you the whole spiel of what of what to expect and do's and don't and let you know that this is day house and you just a visitor and they run it and y'all ain't running nothing right so at this point in time we just came from a level three now we at a level four max right so it ain't everything is restrictive movement meaning you got two guards on the side of you at all times you said dante Oh, sweet Dante, how did you end up in there? Because somebody told on me. They told on me. They told them I was making weapons. Which I was, but hey, it is what it is. I have to eat. So, um, I ended up going to this block called C3. Okay? KB was on C4. This, everybody got it. This is like the intake part. So, I know KB... I wasn't a violent inmate, so I was classified as a level three, which is like non-threatening, but where I was at, it's still, it's still a bad rep to have um, when it comes to the guards, right? KB was a um, level one off the rip, off the joint, you know? He still had that intimidating presence, presence about him, but you got to understand, it was this place that we was at, you talking about... Where we just came from, it was only one KB. Where we at now, it's about 50 KBs. See, this is where you, this is where you, um, 
You 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 are a monster in jail in prison one. Did you go to jail prison two? Prison two. Now you there with the real monsters. So now you gotta figure it out, right? Me, I was at the bottom of the food chain. I'ma keep it real with y'all. I'ma keep it real. I was at the bottom of the food chain. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Hit that like button. Hold on. Hello? Yeah, hurry up. I'm recording a video. What's up? Hurry up. All right. Hit that like button, y'all. Hit that like button. So, I'm at the bottom of the food chain. I'm sorry, y'all. I, people be rude when I'm trying to make videos. I was going to edit it out, but y'all know how I do. I keep it raw. I keep it funky. Hit that like button. Let's get back to it. So, he like, I'm at the bottom of the food chain, right? At that point in time, I weighed maybe about a good 240. I was solid, but I wasn't really, I wasn't no imposing threats. Every guy in there was dang near Six, eight, three hundred, right? They've been in there for years just doing weights, push-ups, just working out. So I come in there so instantly. When I get in my cell, uh, I, I'll get me a piece of steel. Off my bottom rack of the bed, I tore something off, sharpen it up, all weapons is ready, right? You always, I always kept it on me. I kept it in my waistband at all times, right? KB, the first day... Well, the first day that he was there on the block, he got into it with this white man named Richard. Richard was the AB, the Aryan Brotherhood, right? There's a white organization in the prison, a white gang organization in the prison. KB was, um, I guess he bumped into him and then said, excuse me? The, the white guy bumped into him. Oh, let me give y'all the demographics of the pod that we was in. So... You got maybe three Crips, about six Bloods, me, so that's nine, ten, and KB make eleven. So it's eleven black dudes, right, on this pot. And then you got about ten ABs, ten white boys, and then you got like three Mexicans that wasn't um, in the game. But when we was at, you have to stick with your race. So the Crips and Bloods, they was together, right? When um, KB, he was a lone wolf. Me, I had to affiliate with the Crips and Bloods. Because that's just how it is. It's either you get down or you're going to lay down. You got to adapt to your situation. I didn't join no gang. I just let them know, yo, this is me. This is what I got to offer. I'm not getting down with no with no set because that's just not me. I'm my own man, but I can't provide a service, and I'm here if y'all need me. If something jump off between y'all and the ABs, I have no choice to get into this. But let me tell y'all right now, I'm not racist. Everybody that know me, y'all know that I love white people. But when you locked up and them politics is getting pushed that way that you have to be with your race and something pop up, you got to pop it off and you got to ride with your waist, with your race. All right? So, KB ended up bumping into one of the ABs. He said, you not going to say excuse me, N-word? KB turned around and was like, boom! Right? Dude took flights. Bam! They flew up in the air, hit the flow. Two ABs run out they cell and they run out KB. KB up there, boop, 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 boop. Right? First white boy drop, bam, bam. Second white boy drop. Two of the Crips look up there. Uh, they trying to figure out how they going to do it. Like, okay, this is a new guy. He ain't really rocked with us when he first came up in here. We tried to holler at him. He gave us an attitude. But we just see how it goes, right? But then some more ABs came. And I'm up there looking. Like, oh, here it go. So now KB um, is basically like five on Five on one. So they going at it. The guards, they sitting up there watching. They want to see what's going on. They they, they like this. There's three guards. They're standing there just trying to see how it's going to be. Who, who, we, we, we heard about this record. We heard about 
how he was beating up the other guards. Let, let's see. Let's see if the legend true. Let's see if this guy really who he who who he is on this paper. And sure enough, he was who he was on that paper. Well, I'm gonna let y'all know right now. KB started losing that fight. I don't care how good you can fight. I don't care how long you can fight. You're not beating five dudes. You're going to get tired. Okay. So eventually, KB getting in there, but he getting slow. They catch him. Boop, boop, bop, bop. At a certain point, they get the they get the mashing them out. Then the the guards end up breaking it up. <clears throat> Let me tell y'all something real quick. I appreciate everybody that be hitting that like button. I appreciate everybody that be blessing the cash app. If you're not joined to my page, make sure y'all join. Make sure y'all become a member. I'm going to tell y'all why. I'm working on a movie right now. What I really like to do is write um, skits and movies. And I'm working on a couple of movies right now. When you become a member, you will have first access to my movies. Okay? Only the members get to watch the movies. The movies will be out for maybe about two months, and then I'll put it free for everybody. But when you become a member on my channel, you get a badge. So when I when I go live, everybody see that you are, you know, you're a big supporter, so you get a badge next to your name when you make a comment, right? Another thing with this, um, when I go live, I put my number up on the screen. Matter of fact, it's a call-in, so y'all can call me if y'all got any jail stories, crazy stories that be going on in the neighborhood or you just want to call me and say yo what's up dante or you want to say yo f you dante i don't like you right when i go live that's what it's all about so whenever y'all see me go live um uh, the telephone number will be pinned up in the comment section so y'all can call in and um we rock out together another thing y'all another thing hit the notification bell so y'all know when i go live Hit the notification bell so y'all know when I drop a new video, all right? And don't be stingy and don't be shy. Holler at me in the comment section, all right? Let's get back to the story. So KB end up getting whipped out. The guards come break it up. He go to the hole. Two of the AB cats go to the hole. One of the a AB cats end up going um, to the hospital because KB cracked his jaw. Why? Why do shit? Right, um, I'm going to give y'all another story, but that's going to be for another day. But to catch y'all up, go check out this video right here. Um, this is part one of it, and um, y'all be blessed. I'll catch y'all later. And if there's not going to be no more stories about KB, so it ain't going to be no part three. I told y'all what happened. KB ended up going to the hole. Um, yeah, and life goes on. I'm out.